Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to undo column does not exist error in Power Automate. You know, for lists that you create by importing Excel tables in SharePoint or Microsoft list. For us to understand this error, so I'm going to simulate a scenario. I'm going to import a table from exact, uh, exact table into Microsoft list and try to connect to Power Automate and we can see how this error, you know, being triggered and what ways can we get it resolved. So for the start, I have an exact table which I've created, sample import data, just a simulated data, nothing really, uh, these are users within my developer account right so remember it is formatted in a tabular format right i can then close it okay back here so let me create a new list rather than creating from blank or existing list i'm going to create from excel and then i have to upload file the excel is on my desktop so i have it here i'm going to click on open yeah it's table one i mean am i okay with all the data types category uh, maybe I want to make this choice. Actually, it doesn't matter. And done and not done. Made, let's make it choice. And okay, we're good to go. Okay, let me call it sample import data. I will leave it under my list. Of course, I can actually attach it to a SharePoint site, but it's okay here. Click on create. Good. The list is done. And there shouldn't be any challenge for us now. Okay, we have the list. Now, it's time to go to Power Automate and try to connect to this list. Okay. So let's go to Power Automate and create, let me just make it an instant flow that I can trigger with a button. Sample import data. Make it a manually trigger a flow and click on create. Right. So what do I want to do now? I want to connect to my Microsoft list and filter the data that I'm receiving. I don't want to receive everything. So the step here is get items. Get items. So get items. And I need to connect to the site because it's not a SharePoint site, it's a list. So I have to come back to this and look at this URL and take this URL. This is what I need. When I paste that here, before you paste, enter enter custom value, then I'm going to paste. That's the site address. Okay, it has taken out the list. It shouldn't be with list, just the site is sufficient. And now it's going to list out all those lists that are within that environment. And I have sample import data. And I want to filter my data. All right. And let us set the old data or uh, filter query. Use the old data that when the category is equals to tech, you can see the list here. I might want to filter for only tech category. Those are just two records. So I can come here, filter query, and type category equal tech. All right. I'm going to save. I quote it because tech is also a string. So let's give it a test. And this is the error. Column category does not exist. It may have been deleted by another user and all, all those other numbers. But this is category it does exist. So why? When I import my data directly from Excel into S, um, Microsoft list, the columns are there. So why don't I, why is Power Automate not recognizing this column? When I posted this on my YouTube channel um, yesterday, I will Joe Wool actually made a comment that is very interesting, which is another way to resolve this. And from this comment, as you can see right now, is if we apply a filter array and then use the advanced editing mode, we are able to see exactly the name of this column. All right, let's start from there and see. So I'm going to edit and add another action to this new step, then type filter array. So we're establishing that number one that category is actually not the column name <laughs> but this is category is the column name so what exactly is the column name okay under my filter array from what from the value and which of this column am i concerned with right now that is the category all right so the moment i turn on edit in advanced mode i'm able to see those details edit in advanced mode 
well equals item wow you see it is called feed category that is the name that's the column name not just category but why are we having these differences why are we having this change or why am i not aware so this can actually give an headache if you are not sure if you don't even know that oh the column is not the category because you import it already from my excel right so now that we see that is feed category let me copy so that you are sure we don't need the fit array again i can now delete and let's edit this back and then put it here instead of category and just place the value here fit tag underscore category let's save and run this test and see if it will retrieve those records for us test manner wow your flow ran successfully wow how many we look at the here you see category if i click on the output you're going to see it has retrieved some records for me if i copy this and paste in my visual studio data you're able to see the data but i can see records are here you know record at the runs i can see those records now okay so first why this difference that's the first thing that should come to your mind why do we have the change in category by the way thank you joe for that you know tips it helps to easily see it and you're able to find out what exact name does it have okay but let's look at it also from sharepoint uh microsoft list so here's my microsoft list if you are saying that this list is is not working the categories are not the same i know what um power to make and recognize so what is actually happening here okay good and uh, let me mention this that anytime you are creating a column in sharepoint list or microsoft list the very first name you enter as your column name that is the name that will be recognized by other applications connected to that column for example shape uh, power apps we we always recognize that first column name power automate will always recognize for that first column name even when you rename it they will not see the new naming they will only see the previous one All right okay so that being said and that's what happened here so i guess when we were creating that list there is something that was being attached to the columns the column names there is a prefix that was being attached to the column because we we're importing it from excel excel table i don't understand the techniques around it but i'm going to show you uh, how to also find it out from microsoft list right here just go to this j button which is for settings and go to list settings list settings will take you to a settings where you can you know toggle with more than just the column you can do other settings on your list but right here you will see your columns for all the columns and look at the category here i'm going to click on category you to put it in edit mode as if you want to edit that column great so even the column name is the category so what is happening here then nothing changed but if you pay attention to actually know the real the first name that the column was called come to this um bar this uh, url bar address bar um then go to the end of that of that uh, bar and you will see that there's something called feed the name of that feed is actually feed underscore category that is the name of the column that's why you're able to see the column name and for each of those columns on this SharePoint list, if you do this edit, you're go you going to see this. So I guess that when they are being created, by default, they get the prefix feed underscore. It's attached to those column names, whatsoever you call them on your Excel sheet, it's attached to them. And after that, after it's been created, it will then rename back to the initial name you call it on the SharePoint, uh, on the Microsoft Excel column heading so it is that that is why we are seeing something relating to what we are importing however there has been some level of concatenation and pre-creation of those columns before it's now rename it back to what we call it so this is how you find out exact name of that column uh, which we have done from sharepoint now two ways we've been able to find it out from the microsoft uh power, power automate by using the feature array and also going directly to the book from SharePoint list might help you as well. 
to even understand what happens you know in the back end right you can see now there's no error i've been able to resolve that particular error and that is all for this uh video bye for now